Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. We're studying Job. There are 42 chapters in this book, and let me give you a little crash course, a little insider tip. The real action happens in the first two chapters and the last four chapters. All the middle chapters are a whole bunch of Job's friends and Job trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, one friend says, well, this is all happening because you sinned, or this is happening because of that. And, and most of it, they're, they're wrong. Uh, but the first two chapters, we get these incredible dialogues between God and Satan. And then in the final four chapters, God shows up and talks to Job. And in Job 38, I'm just going to give you a little uh, a brief, this is actually a, an example of God being sarcastic, okay? In Job 38, verses 19 to 21, because while Job never stopped trusting God, he did question God's goodness um, it, because of all the suffering he was going through. And when God shows up and restores Job's faith in God's goodness, God kind of flexes a little bit. Here's what he says in verse 19. Job, where does light come from? And where does darkness go? Can you teach each of these to go to its home? Do you know how to get there? But of course you know all this, Job, for you were born before it was all created and you are so very experienced, okay? Now that's just a little snippet, but the point is this. God's going to establish just this high, high view of God. He is so over everything. Um, that we can trust him. And we'll talk more about God's goodness tomorrow. I'll read the life application study note tomorrow, but I just, I, I want you to grasp how big God is and invite God today to open your eyes to how big he is. You know, this is a little tangent, but there's been a lot in the news lately about UFOs. I don't know if you've seen this, but there's a high level CIA type government employee. Um, who came to Congress and said, essentially, there is alien spacecraft and even some alien bodies that the government has found over the last 60 years, and he and others are aware of it. And this is like a high-ranking military official. So it has set off this whole thing where Congress is now interviewing people about UFOs. And of course, you get all these different interactions. Um, when I was a journalist in the city of Phoenix, there was a thing called the Phoenix Lights, and I remember interviewing a pastor and a medical doctor who were both highly intellectual, you know, master's and doctorate degree people who saw these floating orbs. And I remember at, at that time I was uh, going to seminary and learning about angels and demons and how they can affect the physical universe. And here's what I find interesting. I think a lot of people in our world today are more likely to believe in aliens than in the fact that... Um, there's a whole other realm watching us. If you want to call them aliens, you can, but God calls them angels and the fallen angels demons, and they are there. And they do affect the physical world. I'm not saying every, quote, alien is a demon. I'm not, I'm not uh, conjecturing on any of that at all. But my point is this, God is up above on another layer, and we can trust him. His ways are higher than ours. We don't fully understand him. We know intuitively that there's more to the universe. The highest level is the creator himself, the one true God, Father, the Son, Jesus the Christ, and the Holy Spirit who comes to live in you as a believer in Jesus. Keep placing your faith in Jesus in your suffering. Keep trusting that God is good. I'll see you tomorrow for more Daily Hope.